तो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स बाय फिजिक्स सो नाउ वी विल सी दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट अ हेमी स्पेरिकल शेल इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द एक्स वाई प्लेन सेंटर्ड एट द ओरिजिन एंड अ वेक्टर फील्ड ई इज गिवन दिस इज माइनस वाई एक्स कैप plus x y cap by x square plus y square so this vector field is given and we have to find the value of the integral surface integral del cross e dot da over the hemi spherical surface and this you have to write in units of pi so it's a numerical answer type question we have to see what will be the numerical value and this da is the elemental surface area over the surface so in this question this is application of stokes law we will see how to apply stokes law here and we know that according to stokes law del cross e surface integral on an open surface so this spherical shell is an open surface because it's a hollow hemisphere so that is a shell shell is an open surface and this is given by closed e dot d so we will see how to apply the stokes theorem now you have a hemispherical shell so let's consider this hemispherical shell and that is placed over the xy plane so i am taking this direction to be x direction this direction to be y direction and this is z direction and this is the origin now here radius is not given so i am assuming its radius is let's assume its radius is capital r i have assumed the radius of the shell and we have to find what will be del cross a dot da over this hemi spherical shell so this elemental area is is given over this r cap this we have to find so we have to first calculate curl of e then we have to see what will be del cross e dot da so let's first find curl of this vector field e so this curl of e we know in cartesian coordinate this can be calculated by writing this value determinant and this is de ba de ba x de ba de ba y and de ba de ba z and here you have ex component ex component is given by minus y by x square plus y square and then you have this is x component then y component is x square plus y square and ez component is zero so we will first calculate curl of e and you know how to expand this x cap so you have to delete first row and first column and just find the you should operate this on zero so this will be zero and if you operate this on it's a partial derivative so with respect to z this is zero so this will give you zero minus zero this is zero minus zero then with minus sign this is minus y cap so again we will delete this row and this column and if you operate this so just see this will be zero again partial derivative this will be zero so this is zero minus zero well now we will see z cap component so z cap component is you have to delete this column first row and first column so that will be given by you have to operate this on this component with minus sign this so that will be given by del x x by x square plus y square and because of minus sign you will get here plus so that is del y y by x square plus y square 
So let's we have to find this value. So let's write because this this will be zero. Z cap component will be given by. If you find this, so this will be first. We have to write here denominator, and then differential of numerator. So this is one minus of numerator, and this derivative is two x, and that is given by x square plus y square whole square. Similarly. For second term, you can write this will be numerator x square plus y square into this is the denominator and then derivative of numerator minus of numerator into if you take derivative of denominator, this is 2y and that is x square plus y square whole square. So if you calculate this value, I think this will be z cap because this will be common. So this will give you minus x square plus y square minus x square plus y square. And this will give you x square minus y square. So this will give you x square minus y square divided by x square plus y square x square plus y square whole square. And this value is 0. So curl of E is 0 here. So in these type of question, whenever curl is 0, you have to, that may be a special case. So you have to check whether this curl of E is valid at all points or not. So if you see this vector field, because of this expression at 0, 0, this E will blow up that tends to infinity. So curl of E is zero at all point except at one point zero zero. So because this may be a special case, so that's why you don't have to write zero here just by see, seeing that curl of E is zero because curl of e is not defined at zero zero. So you will get different answer from right hand side. So let's check how to calculate close E dot DL in those case whenever curl is zero always check for right hand side and this we have to calculate because it's an open surface and this open surface is surrounded by closed line and that closed line is given by this circle so we have to find e dot dl now over this circle because the hemispherical shell that is an open surface and that will be surrounded by a closed line and that closed line is a circle so now we will calculate closed E dot DL over this circle. So how to find E dot DL over this circle? So this is Z is equal to zero plane. Now vector is given in Cartesian coordinate. And this circle has circle has cylindrical symmetry. So we know that when vector is given in Cartesian symmetry is cylindrical. If you use cylindrical coordinate, that will simplify your calculation. If surface is spherical, then you have to use a spherical polar coordinate. That will simplify your calculation. So if you have to find over the surface, then it has a spherical symmetry. So if del cross E was not zero and you have to find over this surface, then we have used the spherical polar coordinate. But since del cross E is zero, so we are not calculating over this surface. We are finding E dot DL over the circle. And since circle has cylindrical symmetry, so we will use cylindrical coordinate system. So how to use cylindrical coordinate system for. So let us first write E dot DL. So for Z is equal to zero. In DL is given by. DX X cap plus DY Y cap. And then this will give you E dot DL. E dot DL is given by just take dot product. So this is minus Y DX plus X DY by X square plus Y square. So now we will write this E dot DL in cylindrical coordinate just to simplify our calculation. So in cylindrical symmetry, what we will take X is small R cos phi. R 
I, I am taking R as the radius. So this is fixed value. Variable is phi here. So and y is R sine phi. This is x and y. And what will be dx? So dx is given by minus R sine phi d phi. And dy is given by r cos phi d phi. So if you substitute x, y, dx, dy, we will get here e dot dl. So e dot dl is minus y into dx. So if you multiply minus y dx, that will give you r square sine square phi d phi plus x dy. So if you multiply this, that will give you r square cos square phi d phi. And let's see x square plus y square. So that is given by r square cos square phi plus r square sine square phi. So cos square plus sine square phi is 1. This r square will cancel out. d phi you can take common. So if you solve this, this value is simply d phi. So if this value is d phi, now you have to find closed e dot dl. Let's calculate closed e dot dl. So closed e dot dl will be, this is the line integral. So that will be given by integral limit will be 0 to 2 pi and d phi and this value is 2 pi here. So this value is 2 pi. So answer is not 0. Answer is 2 pi. And because you have to write this in terms of pi, so this numerical value here is 2. This numerical value is 2. So answer is 2 pi. And in this case, here you have to fill numerical value 